Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this might be a daily dose of Dismal Disney. We're yeah. not sure what this means. It's very curious. It is weird. It is a little weird that he's doing it now, especially Bob Iger, former Disney CEO, current chairman of the Walt Disney Company, has dumped, dumped half of his Disney stock this month. Yeah, chairman of the board dumped half of his stock. And he's not leaving until December, the end of December of this year. Now, I could see if he wanted to dump his stock on the way out, but this is a, a pretty savvy businessman. Yeah. Uh, I think he's thinking, you know, it's this is about as good as it's going to get. I don't know. If it isn't what he's thinking, that's the message it's sending. That is, yeah, it's going to be really curious to watch Disney stock to see if people react to this. And like, oh my God, Bob Iger just dumped, you know, half a mil, half a billion shares, half a, yeah, 550,000, half a million shares, 550,000 shares. Uh, he just dumped it. He could have made more money just a, a month or two ago, but he might be looking at, you know, where the financials are. I don't know. It's weird. I, not saying there's any insider trading or any of that kind of stuff going on, but it is kind of weird. I mean, even if there isn't, it looks suspicious. We're gonna we're gonna talk about yes. that. Uh, we're gonna talk about that. Maybe he's exiting stage right before the SEC comes knocking. Well, this uh, is gonna <laughs> keep this, this is actually gonna probably bring them knocking. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 192,000 subs. <laughs> Uh, almost 193,000. So close. We are very close. So hit the subscribe button. We do talk a lot about Disney having worked in and around the company for a number of years. And uh, you can check out piratesandprincesses.net. That is Geeky's theme park blog. It is. But there is occasional bits of news like this as it relates to the Walt Disney Company and some of their decisions yeah. <laughs> they've been making lately. Uh, before we get into the Bob Iger thing, though, Got to talk about this. We're going to do oh, <laughs> the Pimini. Follow up on the Pimini. Remember that video we did on Disney's $100 sandwich? And uh, maybe this is why Bob Iger's dumping his stock. We found out how big the Pimini, the $100 sandwich is. No, they make sure they blur it out so you can't see it in the picture. Yeah. Um, no, there's, I have a picture. Keep going down. That's the sandwich. This is it. This is the size of like a foot long sub. Um, that is the $100 Pimini that's meant to serve a family. Um, Very but you small get fries thing. and a salad, uh, I guess, with that. Um, so bag of lettuce is like two bucks, three and, bucks. And, um, you know, now single one, a single pimini is about $15. So it looks like, you know, they have, what, like uh, four of them there, five of them there, yeah. whatever. But uh, I was like laughing because in comparison, you can, if you go down a little bit more, you can get a six foot giant sub from Subway for $87.99 that serves 25 people. We used to get these when we would do like sales and marketing meetings. We used to get those big subs. They had the six foot giant subs and then they had the sub rings. I always liked yes. the rings. They have a three foot one too you can get for $46. Um, you get all that meaty goodness with all you want on it or you can get this one for $100. $100. Now granted, it's Disney. And Disney always, like any theme park, is going to upcharge. But now we're hearing there might be uh, more increases in food costs due to inflation and such. So yeah. this might only be $100 for a short time before I jack it up again. So. Inflation and such. Yeah, I love that because they've, uh, you know, we had the, uh, the, the alleged beef shortage because of that one. Uh, meat processing plant having a, a cyber attack. I mean, they've apparently fixed it, but they'll probably be like, oh, yeah, hamburgers are double now. Oh, Probably. It's, it's just it's just insane. So for that, they're like a hundred dollar sandwich, but it's okay. It's a big sandwich. Anyway, so maybe, maybe Bob Iger's looking at that sandwich and he's like, oh damn, people aren't gonna go for this. Maybe it's time to, to dip out. Uh this tells me that he does not think that now he they say he's gonna diversify his portfolio. This tells me, as again, a smart business person that he is in some levels, uh, that he does not think Disney stock is gonna skyrocket again. I don't know. It's just really, it's just really strange. I mean, unless there's like a, a, some kind of, you know, stipulation that he has to do that because, you know, he's chairman. Maybe he has to have less stock or something. Nope. I don't know. No. It's just weird. Disney, Disney commented on it. They actually, this, this came from Bloomberg and Disney said the value of these shares reflects the significant shareholder value generated under his leadership. If, if there were some stipulation that, hey, Bob needed to sell off his shares, 
They would have said so. Well, maybe you should have sold them off, you know, back when they were 200 and something dollars a share. You would have made a hell of a lot more money. Yeah, I wonder if he was holding on to them thinking that it was going to go up again. But then Disney Plus sort of missed the mark last quarter. And he's like, ah, shit. You know, like this is this Cut is my as, losses and get out of here. Yeah. I mean, that's a, a huge chunk of change. Uh, so this came from Bloomberg. He sold ninety eight point seven million dollars worth of shares in the company. Part of what the entertainment giant described as an effort to diversify his portfolio. <laughs> like, OK, he's good. He's going to go buy some Dogecoin. I'm like diversifying That's what your portfolio. He's gonna okay. do. Why couldn't you diversify your portfolio without selling off all those? He's buying lots of AMC. That's what he's gonna do. Well, not now. It's going down again. It is anyway. going down again. Uh, I made some money on that though. You did. I did. Uh, I got out. I got out, guys. I got out, and I think Bob's getting out too. Uh, Iger, who's 70, disposed of 550,570 shares, an average price of $179 a share on June 1st. According to a regulatory filing on Thursday, the move cut the shares he owns directly by 50%. Uh, so yeah, talking about the Disney's stock soaring during Iger's reign, when he first started at Disney, it was a little over $23 a share. By the time he announced his retirement, we were talking $144 a share. And then we had this spike mm -hmm. after everybody got really juiced up about Disney Plus. You're like, oh my God, Disney Plus is everything. And then it's like once they realized that wasn't everything, it kind of... Well, that and the pandemic. Kind of came down to earth a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the pandemic didn't help either. Well, people could have bought... You could have bought Disney for... It was like $84, $85 a share. I know, I'm so mad that you didn't. I know. I'm like, I should have dumped a couple grand into it. Would have made some quick cash. Because we have got some, out. but, you know, could have got like, a better deal. Could have got a better deal. Bob's getting out, though. So this, this does... Well, is this going to hurt? Is this going to to tank the stocks now? Because why is he cutting and running? You know what I mean? Or cut, dropping them all and stuff. So I would think, wouldn't this maybe they cause the stocks to go down? I am wondering. I uh, Now, today, so far, as of recording this video, I haven't seen any major damage done. But if I were someone who had a lot more money invested. I mean, we do have Disney stock, but not anywhere near no, what? Not that. Nowhere near that or we wouldn't, we wouldn't be, be doing this. We wouldn't be doing <laughs> YouTube or any of this shit. Um but if I were somebody who had a significant amount of money invested in Disney, I would be looking at this and being like, "Why is he dipping out now? Why is he dipping out now?" six months before he's up at Disney. Like you could see him selling it on the way out or something. Right. But he's selling it now. And this Maybe is he figured it was going to, because everybody knew he was leaving, it was going to take a hit when he left. I don't know. Or he has an inkling as to what's coming next quarter. They Because they talked about that. They talked about that. But I thought you're not supposed to do that. They talked about that in the, uh, the well, that, that's kind of interesting too, yeah. Um, ask Martha Stewart how, <laughs> how that worked out for her. Uh, yeah, they talked about it in the uh, the last earnings call that they said, you know, our, pr our predictions for you know, Q3 are tempered, you know, for a number of reasons. We don't think uh, things are going to be fantastic next time. Next thing you know, here comes Bob Iger selling off half his Disney stock. Well, when they're doing things like charging a hundred and like forty dollars a ticket for the reduced boo bash yeah. instead of Mickey's not so scary, and that starts like next week. So, you know, they might have a better quarter than they thought. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, they're talking about the, the food prices going up. Pro was talking about that. You're talking about the, the boo bash backlash. There's mm -hmm. been a lot of people are really upset about this. I guess we could talk about this real quick in the video. Uh, but people are pretty mad because you're getting like what a third of the Halloween. Yeah, party you're for... not you're not getting like now. I think there is trick or treat. They, they they changed it later to add to Instagram, I guess. But um, they're taking away the booty you parade and the stage shows and a lot of the stuff. It used to be it started at seven and ran till midnight. You get in the parks at four. Now you get in the parks at seven and it starts at nine and goes to midnight for three hours. You get yeah. this party and you know damn well they're gonna shove. Way more people in there than you should because they've been doing that lately. And it's for the privilege of getting some free treats and to ride rides with a short wait time. But they're going to make sure that that doesn't happen because they'll shove so many people in it. But before they raised the price last year for Mickey's Not So Scary that they canceled, and the tickets then started at $85. This year for this Boo Bash, which is a, re a reduced, you know, version of it, yeah. you're gonna, tickets are going to start at about $139 for adults. So $140, so you're $50 a ticket more. 
Um, and then when you get to like the later towards the Halloween, where they were like they went up to like 150. This year they go up to 100 or to 200, closer to Halloween. And again, this is not the full Mickey's Not So Scary mm-hmm. Halloween Party. They were getting like reduced hours and everything. Yeah, I, I mean this is this is current year Disney. They're charging more for less. They're trying to recoup you know some of their losses from last year. And frankly, they're just greedy. I mean, mm-hmm. Disney's been greedy for a long time. But and people uh, are starting to be like, hey, we're not going to go. We're not going to give them money because the more we give them money, the more they can get away with it. Yeah. And they're starting to like, you know, on these boards too, the, the usually Pixie Duster boards, we're starting to call it out. I've noticed as well. Um, now, we will likely be at Boobash because we cover it for our blog. But if I was going to go as a normal person, I wouldn't bother. I, I'm going to be honest. We, we've had this discussion before. And it, 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 uh, yeah, it's hard because we were Disney fans for a number of years. But if it wasn't for the fact that we did cover Disney theme parks on the blog, I don't think I would go anymore. No. Not until they got their head out of their asses, you know, with their mouse ears. And they on, keep t- uh, seem like they're chasing a certain type of person. People like Iger here. They're chasing like the Richies and stuff like that. And that's great. Except that eventually you're going to run out of those people too. I mean, they, you, you, you know, they're not, they're called one percenters for a reason. Yeah. Because they don't make up. The majority of the people, you know, you can you can pander to one percenters, but they're still only a small percent uh, and they're going to come and they're going to spend more money. But that's not going to equate to, you know, all the other guests you lost. And a lot of these people, uh, they're they're fickle. You know, they're not going to be happy going to the same destination. Time no, they're going to go to Europe and all yeah. those other places. Yeah, they're going to go, you know, fire festival. They, you know, they did. At, at, you know, things like that I think are hot now happening places. They're going to go do that kind of stuff and, you know, spend thousands of dollars to sleep in a tent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I think that's where they should be and they need to make an appearance there for their Instagram profile. Yeah. So, you know, that's just it. And they're pandering to the wrong people. Um, they're so out of touch. It's ridiculous. And that's unrelated, but related. It's all related. I, I I think that the long term, I think Disney is going to have uh, a day of reckoning here pretty soon between the way that they've treated their employees during the pandemic, um, between them chasing the rich and the woke, uh, between them uh, kowtowing to China at the detriment of you know everything else going on here in the States. Uh, I think that there's going to be a rude awakening coming Mm -hmm. soon. I think right after the initial excitement wears off of, oh my God, guys, Disney's back open. We don't have to wear our masks anymore. Let's go back, party, party, party. After everybody's partied and gotten that uh, pent up demand out of their system, I think Disney is going to level off. Probably. And I think the the stock is going to drop. And uh, eventually, you know, Disney Plus is going to have stiffer competition with Warner and Discovery and all that stuff coming. And yeah, I think Bob Iger is looking at the long term. And because honestly, if Bob thought he could double his money, he would double his money. Mm-hmm. He would hang on to that. So stock. he's dumping it now. You know why? Why? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.